Fighting from a long distance in Medieval Dynasty is always the best option. While you are already causing damage to your foe, they still have to get close before being able to do damage to you. Hey folks, Nas here. Thanks for joining me. Today we will be talking about the advantages, drawbacks, and damage output of ranged weapons in Medieval Dynasty. So let's start off with spears. The advantage of a spear is that it can be used as a ranged weapon when it is thrown and it can also be used as a melee weapon for close combat. The drawback to using a spear is it can be difficult to aim and hit your target. Also, the spear can break very easily, so you will need to have several in your inventory Weighing in between 1.5 kilograms and 2.5 kilograms, they can take up valuable inventory space. The types of spears you have to choose from in Medieval Dynasty are Wooden Spear, Stone Spear, Copper Spear, Bronze Spear, and coming in with the highest damage output of 60 is the Iron Spear. You can take out a wolf with a single throw to the noggin from a stone spear. Now moving on to bows. The advantage of a bow is that you can repeatedly shoot arrows quickly. Also, you can carry many more arrows than you can spears in your inventory. The drawback is that you consume stamina when drawing the bow, and if your stamina drops to zero, you will not be able to draw the bow anymore. The types of bows you have to choose from in Medieval Dynasty are bow, recurve bow, and coming in with the highest damage output of 55 is the longbow. Arrows are the ammunition used with bows, and just as the bows increase in damage output, so do the arrows. The types of arrows you have to choose from in Medieval Dynasty are stone, copper, bronze, and coming in with the highest damage output of 55 is the iron arrow. You can take down a boar with a single shot to the noggin using a bow and a bronze arrow. Now moving on to crossbows. The advantage of the crossbow is you can aim as long as you want because you don't lose stamina. The drawback is the crossbow takes significantly longer to load, draw, and fire. The types of crossbows you have to choose from in Medieval Dynasty are the wooden crossbow and coming in with the highest damage output of 70 is the iron crossbow. Bolts are the ammunition used with crossbows. The types of bolts you have to choose from in Medieval Dynasty are the wooden bolt, copper bolt, Bronze Bolt, and coming in with the highest damage output of 75 is the Iron Bolt. You can take down a stag with a single shot to the noggin using a wooden crossbow with a copper bolt. Alrighty, if you're finding this guide helpful in any way, please make sure to click that like button below the video. Not only is it free to do, it really helps my channel grow. I appreciate it. Now moving on. Damage. To know how much damage you can do in a single shot, you will need to add the damage from the weapon and the damage from the projectile. I'll use the recurve bow and the bronze arrow in this example. So you would need to add the 45 damage from both items together. And this means that in a single shot with the recurve bow and the bronze arrow, you can do a total of 90 physical damage to your enemy. You can figure this the same way for each bow, crossbow, and their projectiles. Critical Strikes Yes, there is Critical Strike in the game, and it's in the form of a shot to the noggin. When you land a noggin shot, the total physical damage from your weapon and projectile is multiplied by 2. For this example, I'll use the wooden crossbow, which has a damage of 40, and the copper bolt, which has a damage of 45. If you add those together, this setup will hit for 85 total physical damage in a single shot. Although, if you land a noggin shot, with this setup, that 85 physical damage gets multiplied by 2 and will hit for 170 physical damage. Bleeds 
Bleed effects are applied when a projectile sticks into the target. And the only projectile excluded from this list is the throwing rock. The chance for a projectile to stick into a target and cause a bleed is random. The projectile will either stick or it won't. Bleed effects persist as long as there is a projectile stuck in the target. The more projectiles that are stuck in the target, the more damage they take. Once a bleed effect is applied, it will deal 2.5 health damage per 3 seconds for each projectile stuck in the target. Now that we are talking about effects to the target, we should cover poisoned arrows and bolts. These are another type of projectile that can be used with your bow and crossbow. Poison projectiles have a chance to apply the poison effect to your target. Once the poison effect is applied to your target, it will last for 60 seconds. Unlike the bleed effect, the poison effect does not stack on a target. This means each projectile that applies the poison effect only refreshes the time on the effect. The poison effect deals 1.25 damage every 3 seconds for the duration of the effect. The poison projectile can also apply the bleed effect, but only if the projectile sticks into the target. So with a poison projectile, you have a chance to apply both the bleed and the poison effects. Buy or craft. Bows, crossbows, arrows, and bolts can be purchased from Teobald in Lesnica or Jan in Hornica. However, Gisela in Lesnica and Raymond in Tutki have a limited selection of bows and arrows for purchase. Otherwise, you can craft these items in the Smithy 1 and 2, or there is a limited selection to craft from the Hunting Lodge. You can buy the poison arrows and bolts from the herbalist Norbert in Baranica, or you can craft them yourself in the herbalist hut. Wysant and bears. These are the two most difficult animals in medieval dynasty to take down, but not impossible. When using bows and a metal arrow, it will take a minimum of three shots to take either of these animals down and two of those shots will need to be noggin shots. However, the Weissen can be dropped in two noggin shots using the wooden crossbow and iron bolts. And the bear can be dropped in two noggin shots using the iron crossbow with bronze bolts. If you found this medieval dynasty guide helpful today, check out this other guide here. And remember, not only is it free to click the like button, it's also free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'd also like to give a special thank you to those of you who are going the extra mile to support my channel. I truly appreciate it. You folks take care and happy hunting.